child care and home care. The United States can have the best economy in the world without the strong support from like caregivers. Well, the United States is trying to do be the best economy in the world while they're not giving like strong support to caregivers. That is still a major problem. We are uh, we still do not like have mandatory maternity leave federally. Is uh, yeah, some states have it, but not every state has it. It's a state by state thing. So you can just like have a baby, but still have to work. Right after just having a baby. Um, and that's, that's not been passed. But anyway, we'll see if the Democrats will change that. Continuing. Uh, but today, the cost is too high. Cost of everything is too high. Uh, pay for, like, care workers is too low. The uh, David Graeber talked about this in Bullshop Jobs, the theory. It seems like, oh, but you're a nurse, or you're a teacher, or you're a caregiver, or something like that. It, you, you shouldn't, like, do that for the love of doing that. You shouldn't be, like, a, a like wealthy a, a, a salaries in order to do that. No, they want to be paid to be able to live. So, okay, you want to keep paying low for those care workers. Okay, get rid of the concept the cost of living, period. So that, like, even, like, someone being paid a low wage for, like, being the care workers, like, nurses and teachers and, like, uh, caregivers as well, too, they can just, like, live fine off of those, like, low uh, wages as well, too. Yeah, and then you can, like, get people who, are, who do it for the love of it as well, too, not necessarily for the money, if you think that's important. <sighs> But the thing is, it, just like with like computer programmers, that became then became like a wealthy kind of like a uh, position. Once men started doing it, it used to be like a women's job as well too. But once men started doing it, then it became like a high sought after like a STEM field kind of like a job as well too. So I think the reason why nurses uh, pay is kind of low, I suppose doctors pay is kind of high as well too, is because like well, let's think about it. Majority of the nurses are like women, not always. As a majority of like doctors are usually men, aren't they? Not always. But I honestly do. Hey, now people's gonna say it's just oh no, it's because of the education and something like that. I think you actually have to go to quite a bit of schooling to still be a nurse as a doctor. Right now, I bet doctors get more schooling. But I don't think that, like a, a the difference in the schooling that like a nurse gets versus a doctor should be like so disproportionate that like their pay should be like the doctor gets three times to what the nurses get. Uh, but again, it's just like if just we give it the cost of like the idea of the cost of living and have like basically living be like free and available to everyone, then then uh, th again nurses and then we'll only be the greedy nurses that so will ask for like a pay rise as well too. While, like, people, if nurses are striking for a like, better pay, they are doing so just because they want to be able to live. Continue on. Uh, Democrats understand that uh, fixing the care and griefing like, crisis cannot wait. Uh, during the pandemic, Democrats, like, uh, American Rescue Plan kept, like, 220,000, like, children's care centers, like, open. Getting parents back to, like, work and saving families that average of, like, 1,250 a year per child. It's observes a million care worker jobs and increase their pay by 10 percent how about like i mean if companies also provide like health uh, like child care for their employees that increases the productivity of those employees uh but like most companies are not willing to do that they don't see the benefits of doing that it costs too much, it's too expensive, or an unnecessary expense as well too. They want to like cut cut as many unnecessary expenses as they could, obviously. Um, and and you know, and if it like if like if the companies don't want to do it, uh, I would argue if we're going to have the state, have the state do that. Uh, I can understand like there be issues with like a safe run care uh, giving like a system because we look at the current like uh, safe run care giving systems that we have now like foster care and something like that and it's like yeah I, there's issues with that one currently so yeah um, but anyway to do on it expanded like support for like a home and community based services for seniors and people with disabilities again only the second time to mention people with disabilities. Uh, and not a single Republican voted for it. Uh, last year, uh, Bi President Biden issued a historically second order to uh, 
uh, directing agencies to further expand access to affordable care. The administration also capped child care costs uh, for 100,000 100, low-income families at 7% of their income, saving each of, on an average of 2400 a year. Uh, overall, the administration increased federal uh, child care funding by 50%. Now, again, it's just like how do they determine what is low income is what I still kind of like have an issue with. As well as like how they determine what is affordable and how they determine um, uh, what is considered be poverty, because uh, sometimes because I did the math yesterday. If you like, if the poverty line is still up like nineteen dollars, nineteen thousand five hundred dollars a year, and you 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 can make ten dollars an hour and working full time at ten dollars an hour and be above the poverty line. But like in any major city, uh, that's not enough to live off of. You just gotta hope that your major city is kind of like Seattle, where it's like it's the minimum wage in Seattle is like twenty dollars. And that's all I got to my pay raise this year. The first one is just because like the minimum wage got raised in Seattle. I did get a pay raise afterwards though. Uh, continue on. Democrats will make investments like these uh, permanent and guaranteed affordable like and quality like uh, child care to millions of like working families for like less than like ten dollars a, a day per child. And we will store the expanded child ta tax credit and strengthen like a uh, head start. Um, for seniors and people with disabilities, uh, Democrats will improve and expand in, uh, home and community-based services as working towards like finally eliminating the 700 like 700,000 person Medicare waiting list, so uh, more people can live and work with dignity in their own communities. Interesting that they also put work there as well too. Now I can imagine some seniors and people with disabilities do want to work as well too and want to work with dignity, but I would rather I think they would rather like work on their own things and not be forced into working something else. Um, but the fact that it's like a 700,000 like a person waiting list for that kind of like a services, uh, it's just like, it's, it's terrible. There's a waiting list on Medicare and just like that, or Medicaid. I misheard that, but that makes sense now. But the fact there is a waiting list for Medicaid shows that there's a, a problem in and of itself, doesn't it? Uh, continue on. We will also keep pushing to like improve pay and benefits for like care workers. For example, by finding to get uh, many of them a bigger share of Medicaid uh, home care payments. Democrats will overhaul the quality of care and quality of life for our nation's 1.3 million nursing uh, uh, nursing home residents by defending a by defending administration regulations that require minimum staffing standards at nursing homes. Democrats are in the only party with a plan to expand access to the care and making it more affordable and accessible for all. And I still think you don't go far enough. Again, Kamala Harris was for Medicare for all in 2019. She's not now, and there's been no mention of that word whatsoever, Medicare for all, in this whole thing. And we're on and on, and we're in the section about health care. Or one of the sections about healthcare, about lowering costs. Continue on. Trump and his MAGA allies in Congress have voted to repeatedly to increase costs of care. For example, by slashing Head Start and child care programs, by limiting slots for like half a million kids. Trump has no plan to lower child care or home care costs for American families. Instead, House Republicans has promised to slash Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and and the child health service programs. While they continue the efforts to repeal the Affordable Care Act will strip millions of seniors and people with disabilities of life changing the home support. <sighs> uh, yes, the, yes, the Republicans are fascists, I get it. But it, like in a two party system, you just have to be just like how it's like if you're running away from the bear, you don't have and there's like a, you were with a couple of your buddies, the too. You don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun one of your buddies so that they're gonna get mauled by the bear. That's the, how the Democrats are like playing politics as well. They just have to be better than the Republicans, and that's it. And then so they can like make, make low promises, and that's it. But even when they break their low promises, liberals will still say, "Oh, I was expecting fourteen hundred dollars." 